Please explain in detail what the tit-for-tat strategy in game theory is. The tit-for-tat strategy is a simple yet effective approach used in the context of game theory, specifically in the study of repeated games. Game theory is a branch of applied mathematics that focuses on understanding the strategic behavior of rational decision-makers engaged in competitive or cooperative situations. A repeated game refers to a scenario in which the same game is played multiple times, with the same players, allowing for the development of long-term strategies and relationships. The tit-for-tat strategy is widely studied in the context of the iterated prisoner's dilemma, a classic example of a repeated game. The strategy is known for its simplicity, reciprocity, and robustness, which has contributed to its popularity and success in various simulations and real-world applications. The tit-for-tat strategy can be summarized in two simple rules. 1. Cooperate on the first move, and 2. Subsequently, replicate the opponent's previous move. In other words, a player following the tit-for-tat strategy will start with cooperation, and then, in each subsequent round, they will either cooperate or defect based on their opponent's actions in the previous round. If their opponent cooperates, they will also cooperate. If their opponent defects, they will retaliate by defecting. The success of the tit-for-tat strategy in repeated games can be attributed to several key characteristics. First, it is a very simple strategy, making it easy to understand and implement. This simplicity ensures that it can be easily applied to a wide range of situations and environments. Secondly, the tit-for-tat strategy is inherently reciprocal. By mirroring the opponent's behavior, it promotes cooperation when the opponent cooperates and punishes defection. This reciprocity fosters trust and cooperation between players, which is crucial for long-term success. Another notable aspect of the tit-for-tat strategy is its robustness. It performs well against a wide array of other strategies, including those that are more complex or unpredictable. This is partly because the tit-for-tat strategy is forgiving, allowing for the possibility of rebuilding cooperation after a defection. In addition, the strategy's retaliatory nature deters opponents from consistently defecting, as they will be punished by the tit-for-tat player's own defection. The tit-for-tat strategy gained widespread attention after being introduced by Anatol Rapoport, a mathematical psychologist, in a computer tournament organized by political scientist Robert Axelrod in the 1980s. The tournament involved several strategies submitted by various participants, which were then pitted against each other in an iterated prisoner's dilemma. Remarkably, the simple tit-for-tat strategy emerged as the clear winner, consistently outperforming more complex strategies in terms of cumulative points gained. In real-world applications, the tit-for-tat strategy has been observed in various contexts, including international politics, business negotiations, and animal behavior. In international politics, the strategy is often used to explain the behavior of nations in both cooperative and conflictual situations, such as trade negotiations, arms races, and diplomacy. In business, the strategy can be applied to understand the behavior of firms in competitive environments or to guide negotiation tactics. In the study of animal behavior, the tit-for-tat strategy has been observed in instances of reciprocal altruism, where individuals help each other based on the expectation of receiving help in return. In conclusion, the tit-for-tat strategy is a simple yet effective approach in the context of repeated games in game theory. Its key characteristics of simplicity, reciprocity, and robustness contribute to its success against a variety of competing strategies. As a result, the tit-for-tat strategy has been widely studied and applied in various fields, ranging from international relations to animal behavior, offering valuable insights into the dynamics of cooperation and competition.